Switch it. All right, perfect. First video of 2024. I know it's been a while. It's taken us two months to get the first one out, but it's all right. We're here now, and I apologize for the delay, but we're coming at you full force, full fledged. This is going to be an exceptional video. Right now, we're in the dorms. It's the night before. Like always, there's a lot of preparation. So we have to pack all of our gear, all of our clothes, and then obviously do all of our homework. But right now, I'm just gonna head over and grab some of my laundry. We got Justin here. Justin's, I, have you been here before? I don't think so. All right, well, this is Justin, guys. He's one of the, one of the homies in uh, West Log. Um, yeah, basically. Am I taking this camera all the way down to the laundry room? Yeah, come with me. From the outside, this dorm is just beautiful like it's actually like i think it's just so insane how how it looks from the outside and i say from the outside because from the inside it's kind of it's not miserable but like it's not like you know you would expect it to be a little bit more uh detailed and intricate um from the from looking at the outside on the inside but it's all right it's still really nice all right this looks like we just set it up to be an on ad, but it, I swear it's not. I, we just got these and I was trying to wash them because it was a little bit big, so I wanted to shrink it a little bit. What so. do we do? What do we do? Two, two hot washes and hot dries? Yeah, to try and get it a little bit smaller. I think it's just, yeah, it was a medium, but it was a little bit big, so I wanted to do that. But other Close than the that. Door. Don't be rude. Well, I, I like to leave it open, that way people know it's open. Okay, this has got to be Milo's. Dude. This is my other roommate, uh, Tigran. Uh, hello, everyone. I actually think that the cut may have not gotten Raj, isn't it? But yeah, this is Tigran. He lives in the center of the room. Raj lives on that side. Also, if you don't want me to put this in, I totally won't. But <laughs> uh, you, we can edit it in post, so it's, it's I don't want to disturb your privacy. It's already almost 11 o'clock, and we have to get up early to do our run because we're leaving at 10, but we have to run before and eat and finish up with all the packing and stuff. So I am going to go to bed now, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Sound like... My roommates were still sleeping. Don't want to wake them up. That is the, the one downside of uh, being a college freshman at Stanford is you have, you tend to have many roommates, um, but it's okay. Anyhow, this morning we're hitting a, we're hitting a pre-race. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we kind of travel kind of late, right? So it's like we get there, we get to Washington this evening and we basically have to get a good meal in. I'll have a midterm to take and then we'll go to bed because the race is the next day. Right, so with today already being the day before the race, we've got to do our pre-race here on campus, which isn't preferred. I'm not a huge fan of doing the pre-races right when I wake up. I'm just never that like into it. My legs are always a little stiff, but um, we're gonna make it work. Anyhow, I'll get a little stretch in and then we'll be good. There are our strides for the day. Our pre-race is mostly done. We just did, we did a, we did a, a 100 meter stride, two 200 meter strides, and another 100 meter stride to cap it off. Um, with jogging. With jogging in between. I think that it's a good, 
it's a good way to do it because you just kind of like you work into it you feel kind of bad the first one especially when it's early in the morning like this um when you're in trainers too um what are you wearing Lex? surfers surfers no aren't those those are not clips oh surfers yeah lex has got the surfers on um a great trainer but by no means the fastest shoe um but no they're perfect for easy yeah yeah perfect not, for easy not running. a workout shoe but they're good not a workout shoe i like them for easy running yeah so but yeah it was a good pre-race now we're just gonna jog on back to the dorms get cleaned up get some breakfast in us and make sure we're at the buses by 10 which is actually right back here at the track <laughs> don't be late <laughs> And the mile and a half morning walk to the track is almost over. You only have a second to get there, bro. Yeah. Don't be late. Hi. Ooh. Like that's how it goes. Yeah, that's what she does. Do, <laughs> You're not just use her for her cloud, okay? Like, oh, not just use her for her cloud. <laughs> you can use it for my cloud because I have none. So give me the cloud, actually. Thank you. We got ourselves a hundred and fifty per DM. It's pretty good. trying to keep you guys uh, in close proximity to the trip for this video. We think that'll be a lot of fun. Um, you know, keep the viewer real close to the action, even if it's not really that much action. You know, today we literally just, we went for a little run, we got all packed, we flew here. Um, since we ran here, we had more time in the evening, which is really good because both me, Lex, and Milo, we all had a midterm that we had to take today. Um, so it's good our operations manager was here because then she can proctor it, we can take it, um, and then we don't have to miss it because I know in some cases, like if you miss a midterm, it means your final's worth like double. So that would not be good, but yeah. such a weird angle we're on a we're on an overpass over a freeway with a busy road right next to us so the audio is either gonna be okay because the mics close to me or it's gonna be terrible but regardless the mission right now is go back to the hotel get a little we'll pie stop cherry toast get a little snack and then just relax right we've got a race tomorrow evening we have very little obligation between now and tomorrow evening and what that means is we're just gonna focus on getting ready for that race we're gonna get really good sleep tonight try to really wind down this evening maybe watch a movie as a team and then tomorrow we'll probably just hang out, go for a little shake out in the morning and make sure that our both our mind and our bodies are just dialed in and ready to um, have at least whatever the best performance is we can push out on the day. But yeah, let's let's get to it. First question, uh, let's say, what are the possible outcomes of the race today? What could happen? What are you looking to do? Well, it's a 3K. It's going off around 6 p.m. We have me, you, Milo, Cole, and then Kai pacing it. So we have a very good crew in it, which will, I think, simulate almost a workout environment where we're all working together, uh, you know, keying off each other, all kind of striving towards the same goal. I'd like to run between eight or 7.55 and 7.50, I think is realistic. I think that's probably the realistic range of outcomes. So that's, uh, that's what I'm shooting to do. Obviously, you know, I'm gonna give it everything I have. So if there's something more, something that feels stronger, you know, I'm in the last couple laps of the race and I'm just, yeah, you know, it's just one of those days where you feel, where you feel that extra bit, then absolutely, you know, I'm gonna capitalize on every bit of strength I have. But I think 755 to 750 is probably the realistic range of outcomes. What's your focus right now? Are you more, what are you focused on? Are you focused on getting a crazy time now? Are you focused on running a fast no. later? Where, where's your head at in terms of your goals, in terms of the broader scale? I think 
Looking at the broader scheme of it, I view indoor more as uh, like a preseason for outdoor. I think that's how it should be viewed. I think trying to have three full seasons in the year is aggressive to try and peak for all three of those. So I think it's, you're better off using indoor as kind of a launch pad to build fitness and tune yourself a little bit going into outdoor. And I think that's what we're doing. I mean, I haven't, I'm not really peaking at all for this race. I ran 85 miles last week. You know, I'm really in a heavy block of training and that's what I want because ultimately my goal is to be competing my best at NCAA's outdoor and Olympic trials if I can qualify. That's, that's the end goal of this season for me. So today it's just about getting a moment in time where I can view my fitness right now. So it's, it's not high stakes, but it also is the last race of the season to do um, something, you know, really special. So it's, I'm very excited for it. I, I had one 3K earlier in the season. It was it was really bad, probably one of my worst races in a long time. I think primarily I was just, I was not confident in my fitness and I wasn't confident in, in the race and I, I just fell asleep. It wasn't, some, it was not, that's not a race to be proud of. So now coming after that, I've run Last two weeks ago, I ran 13.49 in the 5K, which was good, and I definitely know I'm fitter than that. So I know my fitness quite well, and I know I'm at least in 7.55 fitness. So that's what I'm gonna go out there and do. Training recently definitely hasn't been a, an easy thing. There's been a lot of little things blocking me from getting to train as much as I'd like. I don't know how much it'll affect or has affected me, but what I can say is that I've been able to hold my ground in workouts just fine, I think. And I think that's something that I'm gonna have to look towards for the race. I think having my teammates in the race, having Lex, Cole, Kai, Milo, you know, all those guys in the race with us, I think that'll have a big effect because it'll be like, okay, I'm just gonna sit in that pack, I'm gonna sit behind um, Cole and Kai and Lex and we're all gonna work together and we're just gonna see what we can do. And if I get through, what is it? It's, I guess it's 9.8 laps, right? Cause it's 304 meter track. Um, for a 3k um, If I can get if I'm at, if I get to seven laps and it's terrible, but I'm kind of hanging on I'm just gonna hang on as long as I can who cares, right? We're just gonna try to send it and have some fun with it. That's really what we're here to do. It's the end of the season um, I think that like I'm not tied to any outcome I don't know if I'm in shape for eight minutes or 750 right, but I know that I'm gonna go out there and just push as hard as I can. I've worked very hard to try to optimize my, my how I'm feeling and my nearly anything that I have control over, I've done a good job of trying to control and everything I don't have control over, I'm just trying to not really think about, not really worry about too much and just, you know, relax, take a step back and enjoy the sport for what it is, which is just going out there on the day and seeing how much you can hurt and how much you can push yourself. And that's what I really like about it. So that's what we're gonna try to do this this early evening tonight. I woke up to the morning sky first Baby blue just like we when I get up off this ground, I shoot leaves back down to the brown, 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 brown till I'm clean. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, Milo! Then I walk, I'll be shaded by the trees, by a meadow of green, oh, by the mile. I'm headed to town, town, town. With all my favorite clothes 
cars are loud, but good morning, YouTube. Uh, it is now Saturday morning, the day of the mile. So we just raced the 3K last night. Now we're coming back for a double, doing the mile this morning. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be quick. This is more of like a send it kind of race. Don't really know what to expect coming off tired legs, but also makes it more exciting and fun, I think. Um, anyways, right now I am walking to get coffee, but this is a very special coffee. The coffee place itself, Seems very good, but more importantly, I haven't had coffee in two weeks. Kai dared me, or challenged me after the last race to go two weeks without caffeine. So, you know, obviously I did it. And now I'm going to get some coffee. I only have a couple minutes to drink this coffee. It looks beautiful, but sadly we have to leave at nine and it's like 8.53 already. So I have to drink this, then walk back over pretty darn quick. Hopefully my sandwich comes in time. I might have to scrap the sandwich, in which case that's not gonna be good. But look at this thing. Oh, looks pretty cool. So first coffee in two weeks. Oh, it's really good. If you can tell me something worth fighting for Oh, and I'm gonna buy this place is what I say Blame it upon a rush of blood to the head For those of you guys wondering how we get the shots during the race, we've got this guy right here. You may know him by another name other than cameraman. Uh, this guy. Yeah. He got some good shots, hopefully. Actually, I don't know yet. It might they might be completely Every, everything, water, everything filmed. Entire... Yeah, he actually had the lens cap on. Everything filmed this weekend was definitely me. <laughs> The races are now over. It is Saturday afternoon, 2.55 p.m. We are waiting for the bus so then we can head back to the airport and head back to Palo Alto. But for now, we are just enjoying this little bit cloudy, but still beautiful day in Seattle. Going over the races a little bit. So the 3K was, I'd say it was, it was a pretty decent race. So going into it, I mentioned that I think I'll run anywhere from 750 to 755, ended up hitting 755. So that's a race that I'm proud of. Obviously, you're never fully satisfied with a race, but it's not one that I'm going home actively like regretting, you know? It's, I stayed strong, I stayed confident, and I just, you know, kept pushing through the race. In hindsight, I think I definitely could have gone quicker. I don't think I was right on that threshold. There's always a, th you know, when you get pushed to that threshold where you either drop off or stay on, like where, like I wasn't quite at my peak uh, pace, I think. So that gives me some optimism and some excitement for the future going into outdoor, knowing that I probably could run, I'd say around 750, 750. 
48 or something around there, probably that's a fit, where the fitness lies. Um, the mile today. You're not gonna run a 3K and outdoor though. No, I know there's not gonna be a 3K and outdoor, but I just mean that's where I think my fitness is, which obviously can then translate to a 5K. But for the mile, that was a really fun race. I kind of went into it with a, like a send it, just, just go for it, have fun kind of mentality, you know, because I had already done what I came here to do in the 3K, and now it was time just to go for a fun race and try and lower my indoor PR from 407, which is not very quick, to go a little bit faster. Still wasn't, you know, an insane time, 403. It's not that quick, but I was happy with the way I ran it. I think if the group had stayed on the pacer, I think I could have gone a lot faster. Obviously, that's much easier said than done. I stayed on the group. I stayed strong and powerful, I'd say, uh, with one lap to go, so like 320 meters probably because I started on the last straight. I came around most of the race and just led into the last lap, which definitely gave a confidence boost, definitely felt really amazing. You know, it's just like invigorating and it makes you, it, it reminds you why racing can be so fun. So I definitely enjoyed that. Probably did it a little bit too much than I, more than I needed to because then I got past going down the final straight. But I think generally learning from this race I just was not, like the 3K, I wasn't on that. Who passed you? <laughs> you? <laughs> yeah, I interviewed Leo after the race, asking what he thinks about when he's coming in for his kick, because I'm like, he's always passing me, and he just thinks, oh, I look at the guy in front of me, and I think I'm gonna get him, so I was that guy. Just look at the guy ahead of me, and I say, I'm gonna get that guy, and I go. I guess I was that guy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, learning from this race, and from the 3K, I think both, I just, I'm fitter than I think and I can ride a much faster, much higher red line than I thought. So I think uh, like that 403 felt like one of the easiest miles I've ever run. I think, I, I think I'm at at least like four flat 359 fitness, which makes me really excited for outdoor. Like I can't wait to rip a fast 5K. This weekend was a lot of fun. Um, I'm actually starting to really enjoy, you know, back to back racing one day and the next day. Um, it definitely, deteriorates the performance a little bit of the second day, at least that's what I'm finding, or maybe I just need to adjust to it better, but I still enjoyed it. I think the 3K on Friday was really good. I'm generally pretty happy with how it went. I got a new PR, broke the Stanford freshman record again. Um, the difficult aspect of it was mostly just that I didn't quite, like coach said he didn't want me quite to stay on Cole and Kai because that pace would be a little bit quick. Um, but at the same time, that kind of put me back a little bit in no man's land. So I had to figure out what to do and how to keep it strong. So there's a lot of the race where I just didn't really have anyone in front of me and I felt like I had to set the tone for it. So I spent a lot of the race um, without very much of a, without that, without really like a pacer or anything like that. So I really had to uh, like be in charge of it, but it ended up being pretty good. A few people passed me throughout the duration of the race, but then I made sure, but then I really, really focused on closing it down the last, K, 800 meters, something like that. And anyone who passed me, I passed them back. So I ended up being second in the race, which I was pretty happy with. The mile today was pretty fun. Um, we had a good crew. It wasn't super, super quick, but we raced it well. Uh, it was kind of fun, especially because like Lex made a move, like he said, around like 300 to go. I saw him going around, he had some ground on me. I was like, dang, he's running strong. And then I was like, but then at the same time I was thinking, I was like, yeah, he might've gone a little too early. Um, but I, so I had a lot of fun kind of hawking him down at the end and trying to get him. Um, I definitely, I definitely was just like trying to, I definitely was having some fun with it, but it was a good race. We always have a good time racing each other um, and pushing each other. And I was just happy to see him go around me instead of sitting on me the whole 3K. We really enjoyed making this video. It's one of the, uh, well, we haven't made that many videos since coming here, starting our collegiate career, mostly just because we've been really busy um, and just through a myriad of technical issues, it seems like videos tend to fall through, which is too bad, but we're trying to dial it in and make some good videos. We had a whole lot of fun making this one. We really tried to work hard to tell a good story and to show you guys, give you guys an inside look about what happens. There's so many race videos out there. There's so many interviews after the races. We really want to give you guys a little bit of a different perspective so you can actually kind of put yourself in the perspective of a NCAA athlete and and track and field and see what's going on but there surely will be more to come so just stay posted and we're gonna put out as many as we can as often as we can but let's do it That's good.